Hello friends, family, fans. Um, if you guys have seen Bobby and Spider-Man's video, you guys already know what I'm about to tell you. Um, got some bad news to share with everybody. Our good friend Bradley Cooper, AKA Eric, passed away this past weekend. Um, I don't, I don't know really what to say. I'm not even sure why I'm filming this. Uh, I'm still in a state of shock. It's been a few days now. And, uh, I still can't believe he's gone. But he's gone. He is gone. I know that. I just don't want to believe it. Um, Coop was my really good friend. He was all of our good friends. He was a funny guy. The ultimate savage. He had the biggest heart. And, uh... Some of my best memories in life are with Coop. Um, going to Boston. Actually, before that, going to San Diego. For the first time together with Bobby, we went... Uh, to Comic-Con and uh, you know I'd always been close but that that night one of the nights that we stayed there Coop and I stayed up till like 5 in the morning just by ourselves talking and uh, that's when I really got to know who he was and uh, up until then it was always you know joking and you know I always knew him as the funny guy but I didn't really know him until that trip <clears throat> And I got to see what a kind heart and what a big, lovable guy he is. And we hit it off right from the start, man. I mean... Uh, but the Boston trip, that was... Uh, that was uh, that was where I have my most... My favorite moments from Coop. Um, because a lot, of, a lot of amazing things happened in Boston. Um, of course, you know, we traveled to Boston and played with uh, with fans that one year, and uh, you know, all, Bobby, Coop, and I, you know, we went to the park and all the kids running up to us and you know, giving us fries, donuts. You know, I'll never forget that. I mean, I'll never forget the Boston trip. Um, When we went to Boston, I had a, a 9 p.m. flight from Los Angeles, which meant that I landed in Boston at like 3 or 4 in the morning. And uh, I don't sleep well on planes, so I pretty much was up the whole time, which meant when I landed like at 4 in the morning, and by the time I got a cab to the hotel, Coop and I were sharing a room, by the way, um, it was like 5.36, and we had to be up at 8 to go take a duck tour. So I get to the room and Eric, right right away, uh, when I get inside, it's freezing because Coop always loved to have the air conditioner on and uh, I did too, but I mean, it was like an ice box when I got in there, so. I go to sleep and in my mind, like 10 seconds later, which was probably like an hour and a half or two, Coop wakes me up and he's like, Penny, we gotta get going, man. Uh, duck tour starts. We gotta get in the shower and we gotta go. And I remember, I was so tired. I was just like, Coop, all right, man, let's go. But please, get in the shower first so I can sleep like an extra 10, 15 minutes. And then he said the one thing that I did not want to hear was, Benny, I already took a shower. <laughs> and I was just like, no, I gotta get up now and 
I'll never forget, that was, I don't know, for me that was just hilarious. Uh, of course, when we went to Boston, we went to Fenway. And after, before we went to Fenway, we played softball. And I remember a fan asked me for my hat. So I gave him my hat and that meant I had no hat. So when we go to Fenway, uh, I have no baseball hat. And I'm just like, man, I go, where am I going to find a Dodger hat? You know, in Beantown. So we go to the team store in Boston and, you know, Coop tells me, why don't you just ask them, see if they have one. I was like, yeah, you might as well. And luckily enough, they did have this. Dodger hat they sent by accident and I actually paid fifty dollars for this bad boy, but uh You know, I'll never forget it because uh It's very symbolic for me Of that amazing Boston trip Bobby Coop and I had um, One day I do want to put together a montage of footage of Coop because I have a lot of stuff you know that I recorded with him and I and my wife and son, but I'm just not ready to go look through all that yet. Um, you know, right now, with the exception of this video, you know, I'm trying to keep it as together as I can. But looking, I know looking back at that old footage is just going to make me, you know, remember all the good times I had with him. And, you know, I just don't want to start doing what I'm doing right now so one day I will do a video like that um, but right now I just wanted to make this to just I don't know I guess more just to help myself cuz uh, you know his, his death did come as a shock to us to me my wife I can't even tell lumpy man lumpy has no idea but I can't even tell him cuz uh, I don't want him to ask me where's Coop, you know, that I gotta, I don't know what I'm gonna say at that point, so. Um, these are a couple clips I have from my phone that I wanted to share with you guys, and I think, I think Spidey's also gonna put them in his video, so you might have already seen them, but, you know, these are a few moments, uh, that I had on my phone that I wanted to share, so. You know, take a look at them. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Guess who's coming? Who's coming? Cooper and Superman. See him? Bradley Cooper! Bradley Cooper! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up, buddy? Train. We went on a train, huh? That was awesome, man. We came in the car. Right? Here in the here. suite, Dodger suite. Cheers. Oh. Uh, Mike's not working. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have a very long trip ahead. Keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle. If anything falls out, Coyote's gonna get it. <laughs> In case of an emergency, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's Arizona. Let's go through the air seat. Woo! Yeah. 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 We're going to Arizona. Arizona! Woo! We're down. I'm going to get drunk. Still waiting on Greybeard, though. He's running to his truck. Oh. All right, I'll be right back. Bop, bop, Arizona! Dodger yeah. baseball! Arizona's my home. He's like, where are we? Obviously my two favorite clips are the ones with Lumpy. Um, 
The first one was at the Natural History Museum. We went there, uh, my wife and I and, and Lumpy drove and Coop and Soup told me they were gonna take the train. Ended up coming in their car and uh, I remember right when, when Lumpy saw Coop, man, he's just like, bam, that made a beeline right for him, you know? And he loves Coop and Soup just as much, you know, but Coop's just a big presence, so. You know, he goes to him first, and uh, man, we had a great day that day. And I'm, you know, uh, when Lumpy's older, and uh, he'll probably, you know, by the time he gets older, he won't remember any of this, but uh, you know, he'll know that he was there with uh, with Coop and I, and and Soup and Bobby, and all these memories that we have, you know. Um, the other one, of course, is when Lumpy was small, he would. You watch Dodger films and, you know, go through picking of the lineup, you know, and I guess that's who he wanted on his team, you know, but he had the BB-8. <laughs> and when he used that as Bradley, when he called that as Bradley Cooper, my wife happened to be filming that with her phone and man, that was just the most hilarious thing I had ever seen, you know. So those are my two favorite videos. Um, <clears throat> I got a ton of memories of Coop, man. Um, we're adults. You know, we're over 18, so a lot of the memories I have, you know, involved a lot of, uh, like, jokes, you know, where we were cussing and, you know, just being guys. Um, the, New York, the New York trip was amazing. Um, at that time, you know, Coop couldn't move around too much, so... You know, when, when I was there with him at night, you know, a lot of times we would just sit there and drink and, and watch the Dodger games and, uh, you know, Soup and Bobby were there too. And uh, those are some of the, the good memories that I have, the conversations we had, you know, the jokes we made of each other. Um, all that stuff I'm going to carry with me the rest of my life because uh, cause I'll never forget you, Coop. Uh, one thing else I want to say, you know, um, I was I was uh, fortunate enough to be able to make it to to Coop's house the day that he passed, and I got to see him, you know, before before they took him off, and uh, he was already gone at that point, but I got to hug and kiss him and tell him goodbye, tell him how much I loved him. I like to think he already knew that. You know, but uh, in reality, I feel bad because we didn't get to hang out as much as I wanted to. You know, I mean, I got a wife and kids, so it's kind of hard to go out and hang out with your friends. You know, and it's a lame excuse, but I mean, that's the reality of it. You know, I got to be here keeping keeping an eye on my family, you know, so we didn't get to hang out that much. So, you know, I was glad that I got to go to his house and, and see him before they took him off and uh I also got to you know I got to help lift him into the truck because you know he was a big guy so it took a lot of us to get him on the end of that truck and uh and, I, and you know I, it's something I'll always take with me and you know something else I'll never forget um guys I really don't know what else to say man uh we loved him very much. We'll never forget him. He's definitely in a better place now. Um, leave a comment if you guys want. Uh, you want to talk about him? You want to ask me anything? Go ahead. Obviously, don't ask me anything super personal. I'm not going to get super personal in the comments. But you know, you guys want to you know leave a comment saying how much you loved Coop, how awesome he was. Um, go ahead, you know, I'll read them all, I'll try to comment on as many as I can, but, uh, I love you, Coop, and I know one day we're going to see each other again, and, uh, I can't wait, I can't wait to give you a big hug, man.
You'll always be in my family's hearts and minds, Coop. And I'm sure that goes for Bobby and everyone else that played softball with him and loved him. Goodbye, my friend.